What's up guys, Justin here from TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another V-Ray for SketchUp tutorial for you. So in this video I wanted to talk about a problem that you can have where your glass isn't transparent within your renders and what you can do about it. So uh, let's go ahead and just jump into it. So one of the things I'd like to do on this channel is I'd like to make some videos kind of showing some of the settings that are getting used in like the V-Ray show, show reel type videos, that kind of thing. Well they just put out a cabin video um, for Revit in uh, the Revit 2019 video and I wanted to talk about some of those settings and so I was starting to kind of model these cabins in order to talk about those settings. But uh, one thing that I was running into that I wanted to kind of talk about a little bit even before I do any kind of video like that is sometimes when you do a rendering within V-Ray when you apply the glass materials um, you can't actually see through the glass. So the glass shows up as non-transparent. So for right now if we were to take a look at this you can see how I have a V-Ray glass material applied to the glass in these cabins and so if I was to do an interactive render what that's going to do is you're going to notice that this glass is rendering as completely black and non-transparent and the reason for that is as of right now if we go in and take a closer look at the way that I've modeled these If I was to hide the walls, you can see how there's no thickness to my glass right now. And the problem with there being no thickness to your glass is V-Ray really kind of calculates the way things refract through the glass um, when it's doing when it's calculating your renderings. And so for right now, when I come in here and I unhide this, you can see how you're going to get kind of mixed results on your glass right now. So right now you just can't really see through these. And so there's two different ways that you can fix this. So the first is you can come in here and you can give these some thickness. So I'm going to click the stop button and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to push pull these, these glass pieces about a quarter inch. So to kind of simulate a quarter inch glass pane. And so one thing to note with the push pull tool in SketchUp is you don't want to just push pull this back because if I was to push pull this back and then we were to come in and look at this there's no face when we push pull this piece of glass back and so what we need to do first is we need to tap the control key and you'll notice when I tap the control key there's now a little plus button next to the push pull tool icon um, so what that means is now we're in create new face mode and what that means is when I click on this face and I move back now and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a dif distance of 0.25 and hit the enter key so that gave this thickness, but what that means is that'll create a new face on the other side, but it'll keep the existing face right here. So now if I was to go outside my group, and I was to rerun my interactive render, that one piece of glass right there is now going to be transparent because we gave it a thickness. And so now V-Ray can calculate everything kind of the way that it needs to. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go back in and we're going to give the rest of our glass that thickness real quick. So I'm just going to push pull these in create new face mode about a quarter inch ease. And one thing to note is you can double click on these pieces of glass in order to redo whatever the last function was of the push pull tool. So in this case I'm just tapping the control key. I'm making sure the plus button is active when I mouse over these faces. And then I'm just double clicking and so that's push pulling these all a quarter inch. So now if I was to zoom out and I was to rerun my interactive render and I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now as I rotate around you're going to notice that all the glass is actually transparent within your render. And so you'll notice you're still getting some kind of odd results. And so the reason for that is because if you were to go up into your view tool and uh, click on the monochrome option, it's going to show you the front and back of your faces. Well you'll notice that all of these glass pieces when I use the push pull tool and create new face mode got flipped so that the back face is facing out. And so sometimes you get weird results in rendering programs when the back face is facing out. And so this is why I always go in and reverse my faces so that the front side of faces is facing me. So you can see how now when I'm in monochrome mode these are all the same color. That indicates, or these are all this white color, that indicates that the front side of these faces is now facing my camera. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to click back on shaded with textures. And by the way if you can't see the views toolbar you just right click up here and just click the views 
or sorry, it's the styles toolbar. If you right click on here, make sure the styles toolbar is selected, then you can turn that on and off. And so that's one way to do this is to give your glass a thickness in order to get a transparent material. So another way to do this is V-Ray actually has some, uh, um, they're kind of fake glass settings. They're, they're settings, or they're glass materials that are basically set up so that you can apply them to a flat face in SketchUp without having to actually give your geometry thickness. So the settings are kind of set up where uh, this will simulate the glass having a thickness without you actually having to give the geometry some thickness. And so to find those, you're going to go into your asset editor. You're going to click the little left hand button over here and you're going to go into the diagrammatic section. And so when you go into the diagrammatic section, you can scroll down and there's a fake glass in here. There's also a glass simple. These seem to all work pretty well. So if I was to right click on this and I was to add my fake glass to this scene, I'm going to go ahead and select all of these faces. And then I'm going to right click on my fake glass and I'm going to click apply material to selection. And those are going to show up as black in here in uh, your materials section of your tray. And if that bothers you, we can fix that in a second. So now let's go ahead and double click outside of our group and then rerun our interactive render. So when I rerun my interactive render, you're going to see that my glass material is now going to be transparent over here as well. So you can use that fake glass material to simulate the glass as well. And I'm pretty sure these glass simples all are going to work too. And then if it bothers you that this material isn't transparent within your actual model view, um, you can actually go into the settings and you can just change the opacity down. So you can just go to edit and then go down to the opacity and drag that down in order to make that look transparent within your model. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this uh, something that was helpful to you? Uh, what other tutorials would you like to see on V-Ray? Um, I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.